Hey y'all, I'm Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be diving into a little Shein fashion haul. I finally placed an order to see what's going on over there at Shein. Is the stuff worth it? Is it good quality or is it crap? So um, I had heard so many people saying that it took like three weeks for them to get their package. So that kind of was a put off for me, but I went ahead, ordered something, and honestly, my package was delivered within a week. Um, I think it took two days for my order to process, but it only took a week for my package to arrive. So I don't know if they're doing something different with their shipping or what's up. Maybe they kind of decided that, you know, People were waiting too long to get their packages and they wanted to like step up their game a bit. I don't know, but luckily this got here pretty quick and we are going to dive right in and see what I think. Um, also, I'm going to try to put in, insert a clip somewhere <laughs> of me actually trying on the pieces um, as we're going through them. So you'll be able to see what they look like on me. Um... And let's hope they all look good because I'm actually really excited about all of this and I'm really like fingers crossed everything fits and looks super cute. So let's dive in. First thing, let's get this guy. They all come in these little bags that say Shein. They're just like a, like a Ziploc bag. Um, it's a little bit wasteful, but... I guess it's nicely packaged and everything's like very separated. So that's easy whenever you're going through your order to make sure that you got everything you ordered. So anyways, all right. So the first thing I got is this little cord, little matching set. It's a little top, little spaghetti strap top. It's kind of a, like a silky material, not like a silk material, but it's like a silkier more soft like cool fabric and then it also came with these shorts that advertised on the website as biker shorts which i think they'll be a biker short they're just gonna be like maybe a little bit looser fit but that should make for a really comfy like lounge set which is what i got this for really to kind of like lounge around the house and you know work on the computer watch netflix watch hulu whatever maybe sleep in it so i'm really excited about this piece the fabric is actually quite nice it's a little thin but i mean like for a lounge piece do you really want like a super thick uncomfortable fabric i don't think you do so it's actually a really nice fabric i'm pretty impressed with this first with this first package not gonna lie and i got these in a size small so really excited about this. I think this is going to be pretty promising. Let's stick that there. The next thing we've got in our next little baggie is a pair of biker shorts. They are orange, as you can see. I will say that these look a little big for a small. Um, and I would tell you what they're, hold on, they are 62% polyester and 32% cotton. So I doubt these will actually shrink that much. Maybe. Which I'm not really going to try to shrink them. Um, hopefully they fit decently. But these kind of look like they were made for someone with a really plump booty. Which is not me. Um, but we will have to see how these fit. Hopefully they fit really nice because I got them to go with an oversized tee that's also in this box somewhere. So yeah, I can't wait to try these on. They're actually a really nice fabric. Um, they're not too thick, not too thin. Um, the band doesn't seem like it's going to be so tight that it like, like is uncomfortable on your waist. And obviously these are meant to be worn high waisted. So yeah, I think, I think these will be fairly comfortable. So can't wait to try those on. And then for this next one, I got a little brave and I ordered a pair of jeans, which I don't know about you, but I normally do not order jeans online unless they are a company I have bought from before and know my size and how things tend to fit. Um, but 
nonetheless, I figured somebody out there might be a little curious about Shein jeans. So I ordered some. These are, these say size small or US 4. If I remember correctly though, the options on the website were like small, medium, and large, which is a weird way to buy jeans in my opinion. Like not normally how I buy jeans. I normally wear a size 2, but I buy 4s a lot as well just because I like them to be a little bit more comfy in the waist. These are a high-waisted jean, and they're very distressed, as you can see, like my hand through here, distressing in the thigh, in the knee, probably a little below the knee. Actually, this might, no, that would make no sense. We'll see how they fit on me, though, with me being so, good lord, there's little fuzzies flying everywhere now. These are actually a really nice denim and a really nice wash. And the denim feels really, really, really good. They're not super stiff. They feel like almost like your favorite pair of jeans you've really worn and broken in. And I like that the hem at the bottom is um, really distressed, a little bit shorter in the front. Hopefully these aren't too long for me. Um, I don't think they really had like an inseam length on the website. So hopefully these fit really well. You should be seeing somewhere. Um, if they do, fingers crossed, because these are so cute. These are going to be super duper cute. My gosh, I'm, I'm actually impressed and excited. Super excited. Um, next, let's just go with, okay. All right. Um, okay. All right, so this, I, you know, you ever get an order in and you're like, hmm, what kind of mood was I in when I placed this order? And I don't, I don't know what kind of mood one has to be in to place this order, but it's like a, like a bralette, but it's got like this little strap that goes like under and I don't know if it shows under boob. I'm not down for that. No, no. So let's hope um, it's just like a comfy like bralette top. I got this in a size small. And then it also comes with some shorts, which I'm not going to lie, the waist looks a little small. But it comes with these shorts. It's a very silky material. It also kind of feels like it would be a little see-through. But I figure a fit like this you wouldn't really be getting to wear out. Which if you are, do you girl? And no judgment here, but I do not have the lady balls to wear this out in public. Just this. I don't know. Maybe with like a really oversized denim jacket, possibly. I don't know. I don't think this was in like the lounge sets, though. I don't think this, like this little set or the, the first little set that I pulled out. I don't think they were in like a pajama or like a lounge set section. I think they were just in like matching set section hair. Could you get out of my face? Um, so I really don't know how they intended for you to wear these, but we shall see. But it's a really nice material. And if you were curious, like it doesn't, none of these have smelled like chemicals or like really weird, um, like a really weird dye or anything. So that's nice. Yeah. It smells, it smells just like clothes, like you would get from any any store. Um, but yeah, we will see how that fits in. Well, you know, I'll see how it fits in a bit. Next up, what is this? Oh, it's a t-shirt. Okay. So you're going to see like a, a, like a theme in a second with this say la V print. Um, I don't know why, but I was really into this little print. I thought it was cute. I thought it looked, I thought it made like a basic like piece look a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more expensive. Um, this is just like your basic oversized white tee, but it says say la vie on the front in black. Um, it's a very, very nice stretchy material. It actually is a kind of a heavy shirt, which isn't a bad thing because it doesn't feel like a super cheap material. Um, 
but yeah, like I got this in a medium because I wanted it to be extremely oversized. And you know how sometimes you get like an oversized shirt. It says oversized so you get like your size and then you put it on and you're like, okay, so this looks like a medium. You know, like this doesn't even look oversized. So I got a medium just for it to be a little bit bigger. I'm glad I didn't go with a large like I normally do because this would be like a like a knee length dress on me. Hopefully this isn't too long. Hopefully this is super cute. I got this to wear with the orange biker shorts. So we will see how that outfit looks. Hopefully it doesn't look crazy. And then I saw this piece and I couldn't pass it up. When I was a kid, my mom had our entire kitchen and other parts of our house as well decorated in cows. Um, yeah, in cows. So when I saw that one, that cow print has become like popular again and is in again, like that just made me chuckle. And two, when I saw this little one shouldered cow print top, I just had to get it. I had to get it. So it's just a cute little cow print one shoulder top, which honestly it's, it's a nice fabric. I mean, it's not like anything you would touch and be like, oh, that's super expensive. But it doesn't by any means feel like paper thin or like cheap, cheap crap. I mean, it doesn't feel bad at all. It's a cute print. I think this would look really cute with, um, with like some high-waisted black denim and some little booties and then maybe like a blazer or something like that over it this would be super cute so i'm super excited to try this on just see how it looks on yeah like the cow print really sold me i think it is so adorable and like i said it reminds me of my childhood so um next piece i got another pair of jeans yes i know I don't know why I was brave enough to not or not only order one, but order two, like, but I did. So these are, again, high-waisted. I only really care for high-waisted denim, to be honest with you. And then, again, these are extremely distressed. Um, very, very distressed. And, oh, wow, I just noticed, like, there's a flap. There's an, into oh, there's, like, these entire flaps hanging from this leg and then these are more like a wide leg trouser jean which if worn correctly can be done very very cute and again i love the wash of this denim i love the the feel of this denim it's not super stiff these don't feel you know how you get denim and it's like okay those don't feel like denim like that that doesn't feel like a good pair of jeans these actually feel like jeans but not so much so that they would be like uncomfortable to like walk or sit down in. I'm super excited about these. And again, these are in a small or a US four um, or a European, th I think that says 36, 36 or 35 if you aren't in the US. Um, I'm super excited about these. I think these are gonna be super, super cute. I know I'm kind of just saying everything's going to be super cute, but I have high hopes, okay? Like, you can't go into it with a negative mindset because then next thing you know, everything will look like trash. All right, so next piece. Um, I think this is the second to last clothing item. Next piece is just like the white C'est La Vie um, t-shirt, except for this is in a lime green I don't normally go for colors like this, but there was just something about this t-shirt. I was like, that would be super cute with a pair of black biker shorts, a pair of chunky sneakers. That would be the cutest outfit. Um, maybe like some black barrettes or something. I think that would be super duper cute. So I had to pick it up in another color because right now I am really into oversized tees and biker shorts it is such an easy outfit you can really make it cute and it's comfortable because let's face it right now with the way the world is comfort is key but of course you feel good when you look cute i know i do whenever i look cute whenever i'm feeling myself i always seem to be more productive i seem to get more done i feel 
I just feel better overall. So anyways, I got it in lime green and I think this is actually going to be really cute. And again, it's just like a really thick, nice t-shirt material. It doesn't feel like, you know, sometimes you'll get like a, a cheap t-shirt that feels like paper, almost like you could rip it apart. Like this has got a lot of stretch to it as well. And I got a medium in this one too. And this one's going to be, this one's definitely going to have an oversight. Woo! Excuse me, I've got the hiccups all of a sudden. This one is definitely going to be an oversized fit. Hopefully it's not too oversized, but we shall see. That would also look really cute with like one of these pairs of jeans um, with like a front tuck. That would also be cute as well. Last clothing piece right here, and it is a set. It came together and my finger is stuck through the bag. Okay, so it is... Again, that C'est La Vie print. Um, it's really nicely printed on this little top as well. Like, that's very nicely printed. The, yeah. That's very nicely printed. I'm, I'm actually really impressed. The material on this top is really nice as well. Um, the spaghetti strap is actually really nice. It's not too stretchy. Um... It doesn't look like it's too long. Fingers crossed that it's not. So we're not having any nip slips out of the top of this little top. But it's just like a little bandeau top with a little spaghetti strap. It's white with black print. So say la vie. And then it came with these black joggers. Um, they have pockets. So that's a plus. So it's a handy, handy thing to have. Keys, phone all that good stuff. It's got some very nice drawstrings with little metal clasp at the end to keep it from fraying. Um, so that's nice. The band is very nice, very thick, and it's very like sturdy and durable. Like I don't know how to describe it, but it doesn't feel cheap. And it's also not like, you know, um, they'll put like the elastic in the band, but they don't like sew it down so it can like twist I know you know what I'm talking about. If you've ever had an elastic band, like the elastic twist on you inside the pants, then you, like if you've never had that happen, you're lucky. But if you have, you know what I'm talking about. And this is like in there. This is, this is nicely made. I'm quite impressed. And then this material is very nice, very soft. It's not too thick, but it's not so thin that you would freeze to death if you tried to wear these when it was a little bit cooler. And then they're cuffed at the bottom which is how I prefer my joggers, just so they don't um, like spill down over my shoe. Because when I wear joggers, honestly, I'm trying to show off some tennis shoes as well. Um, but these are really, really nice. These are cute little joggers. Um, obviously, these are made to be worn high-waisted, so you're not showing too much of your midsection with this top. But Hopefully it doesn't show too much. Like, you know, I'm all down with showing a little midsection. I don't necessarily want to show everything. Like, let's leave a little bit to the imagination. And then I got two pairs of sneakers because, honestly, that's the first thing I look at whenever I go to any website that sells clothing is what do you have for sneakers and boots and if I guess I didn't find any booties or boots that really struck me because I didn't order any but I did get two pairs of sneakers because I can't turn down sneakers I have a problem like I'm, I'm pretty sure that I need to go get like help for the amount of sneakers I have and would have if I ordered all the ones that I actually like but I ordered these sneakers. Um, I ordered a size 39, a European 39, um, which is an eight, a US women's eight. And these, I have tried them on, I tried them on already. These do fit true to size, um, in my opinion. Like I said, all this is just my opinion, so you may feel differently, but these do fit true to size. I know they look huge because when I first pulled them out, I was like, uh-uh, those are way too big. What size did they send me? Um, but they do fit. This part just makes it look a lot bigger because it protrudes out of the back of the shoe. But these are just like a really chunky sneaker. This is more like a sock, like the sock sneakers. I don't necessarily know what to call them, um, but they have like this little buckle on the side and it says like warning and I don't know what else it says. 
Um, and then it has like the black and white laces, but when I tried them on, I didn't even undo the laces. So I don't even really think the laces do a whole lot as far as the sneaker goes. But since it is like the sock, it's like a knitted, you can see through it. So these definitely would be a little chilly um, during the winter. Um, and also if it's raining or if it's snowing or anything like that, you're not gonna wanna wear these just because your feet are gonna get wet. Um, but I'm really excited to wear these. These are super, super duper cute. Super cute. Um, yeah, super excited about these. Those really met my expectations. Um, I was really hoping that these weren't going to be like cheap crap. And I'm really excited to say that I don't think that they are. And then I got a second pair of chunky sneakers. These have like a blush pink detailing on them and then they have like a white chunky buckle that also gives them a little cool um detailing that you know it's different because I like I like I like to look a little different you know you want a little piece that makes people say hey where did you get those those are cute um they have a gray and white um shoelace and the only bad thing I have to say about these is that the shoelace does feel a little cheap it's a little rough but I can get past that. Um, yeah, just a cute, cute, chunky sneaker. And again, like the heel of this one protrudes out. But both of these pairs actually kind of remind me of a pair of Balenciaga tennis shoes that I did see. Um, or tennis shoes that I saw um, that were super duper cute. And honestly, like these are a fraction of the price of those so I mean if you don't want to splurge and you don't want to get extremely expensive sneakers then here you go I will be purchasing more shoes off of Shein because these really impressed me um, and again these are a size 39 European 39 which is like an 8 in US sizes women's US sizes um, yeah, nothing negative to say whatsoever about any of the things that I ordered. I also ordered, like I said at the beginning of the video, some makeup, but I'm going to be doing like the haul and an application of all of that makeup on a separate video just because I don't want to be sitting here for over an hour blabbering on about my order. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a little something if you yourself were a little curious about Shein and wanted to order some stuff but didn't want to waste your money because who who the hell wants to waste their money, to be honest. Um, yeah, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button before you go and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.